Breaking news this morning in Greensboro. Six people shot before midnight at an apartment complex, and we've just learned that at least two of those victims have died. Good morning to you. I'm Jordan Brown. And I'm Cindy Farmer. This comes as thousands of people are expected to visit the Gate City this weekend for the North Carolina A&T Homecoming Activities. Fox's Lauren Crawford has been on the scene all morning long. Lauren, what are police saying about, are police saying anything about what may have led up to this? Yeah, Cindy Jordan, it was just moments ago that an investigator confirmed that they are now investigating this as a that at least a double homicide. And we know that four other people were shot here. Now, uh, officers tell me this is known to be uh, off campus housing for a lot of North Carolina a and State University students. We are just steps away from the campus. This is considered off uh, off campus housing. Now we know that when Greensboro police got here, they found two people who were shot. I've just confirmed with an investigator. Those are the two people who died. And when they were on scene, they uh, four other people who were shot showed up at the hospital. Must be responding. Get multiple calls representing that. Units that are on their way we need one at Circle and Castlewood, one at Palmetto towards Park, and another one at Circle and Sullivan. They need to be shut down. Make sure we can get EMS in and out. And just to give you a perspective, this is a short walk again from campus. An Aggie alert was sent out at 1152 warning students about a shooting on this street. The shooting happened just before 1130 last night right off campus. Investigators have areas of Circle Drive, Palmetto Street and Sullivan Street blocked off for about six hours. I've seen officers out here taking pictures and using evidence markers after some digging. I also learned that this is the same street of a deadly shooting six years ago that shook the entire campus. In 2016, two North Carolina A&T State University students were killed after they were shot at a party in this same block. I've spoken with Greensboro Police and reached out to North Carolina A&T Police. We are working to learn if any of the six victims, including the two who we now know have died, are students. There's no word yet, and they are not releasing the names or any um, details yet. But again, a lot of students, after we just learning this news, um, likely to be impacted by this this morning. And uh, we also know that about 30 minutes after police were called here, another shooting happened on Parker Street. That's about two and a half miles away. I talked to the officers here on scene and they don't believe it is connected. We'll stay on this and let you know of any updates as we learn them. Live in Greensboro, Lauren Crawford, Fox 8 News. Lauren, thank you for that update.